Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm currently in the process of planning my wedding. Now, there are three types of wedding bands, and here is a pie chart about the cost of each. The largest or most expensive is the kind of band that plays music at your reception. The next would be her wedding band, and the smallest would be my wedding band, which will be made of the cheapest metal I can possibly find. Now, instead of hiring a wedding band, because although they're very cool, they are extremely expensive, we have hired a DJ. Not like a wedding DJ, this is actually a DJ who plays at clubs in our city. We go to his shows a lot and he was willing to come play at our wedding, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. Now returning to the first graph, you might be wondering why am I trying to find the cheapest type of metal possible? Well, if you look at the value of metal, basically there's an inverse correlation between the probability of finding a certain type of metal while digging a hole in the ground and the price or value of that metal. I find this to be completely arbitrary and silly, and therefore, I know this is not very romantic, but it is just my math nerd rationality, I want to find the cheapest possible metal and put that on my finger demonstrate that I am an extremely rational math nerd. Anyone who's ever planned a wedding is aware that it is not quite as much fun as planning a trip to the dentist. Yeah. But I'll tell you what is fun is planning your honeymoon because it's a vacation after your wedding is over. Now you've gone through most of your life probably thinking that most of your friends and family are reasonable and rational people. You'll be amazed to find that in increasing proximity to the date of your wedding and their involvement in that wedding, these totally normal people will become completely insane. The biggest cause of insanity at weddings, both for the bride and groom and for potential guests, is of course planning the guest lists. Basically, you have a list of everyone you know, and a tiny fraction of those people you can fit in your venue and in your budget. All the rest, approximately 90% of the people you know, are people who you will never speak to again because they didn't get invited to your wedding. Now this is a real fact. The average wedding in the United States costs $27,000. Now that might sound like a lot, but I think if you added up the average cost of a wedding Pinterest board, like all the things on the board, it would be like millions of dollars. And that, my friends, is what causes what I call the gap of bridal tears, which is when girls cry uh, when they realize that the wedding doesn't look a lot like their Pinterest board. Here's another real fact for you. 30% of all Pinterest boards, that represents tens of millions of Pinterest boards, are secret wedding planning boards. And this turns out to be accurate. In my case, I asked uh, my fiance Ashley, and it turns out before we were even engaged, she had two secret wedding planning boards. So yeah, there's quite an interest in uh, not telling your boyfriend how you're already planning the wedding. Finally, let's look at the common causes of tears at weddings. First of all, you have allergies due to your wedding being held inside of a barn. Next, you have allergies due to the sunflower bouquets that your bridesmaids are carrying. Next, you have sadness upon seeing the catering bill. And finally, happiness when it's all finally over. Now, people who have not planned a wedding often have very romantic notions about how wonderful the process is going to be. If that's you, you might have found this video quite upsetting. My guess is, however, if you have planned a wedding, you found this video to be very true at a deep mathematical level. Now, the good news, of course, about planning a wedding is that after it's all over, you get to spend the rest of your life with that special person. 